Hi, I'm Terry O'Donohue, a speech language pathologist from CID, Central Institute for the Deaf in St. Louis. This course, The Art of the Structured Syntax Lesson, Assessing, Planning, and Prompting, represents a practical approach to helping children who are deaf or hard of hearing develop their listening and spoken language skills. You'll learn proven approaches for assessing a child's current abilities and setting appropriate vocabulary and syntax goals. Identifying a child's current language abilities is the first step in developing her language skills. A formal speech and language evaluation is a good start. Annual assessments are recommended, but they are not enough. Vigilant listening is the key when assessing and identifying a child's language abilities and needs. Listen carefully to the child in every interaction to assess the length and complexity of her utterances. Ask yourself, is the child using single words or phrases? Is she putting words into sentences? Are the sentences grammatically correct? Is the sentence in the correct word order? Listening for different syntactic structures such as nouns, verbs, adjectives, prepositions, pronouns, questions, conjunctions, and so on. Vigilant listening helps you identify what the child needs to learn and practice so she can better express herself. This will prepare you to set meaningful goals that are not out of the child's reach. The course then covers strategies for designing structured syntax lessons and for conducting those lessons using a variety of modeling and prompting techniques. When using an assessment tool like the TAGS rating system, consider the level of skill the child is required to use. What is the order in which children develop their skill with a syntactic structure from the lowest level, requiring the least student responsibility, to the highest level? Drag each skill to the correct place in the order of skills. You can use prompts in three ways. To elicit a new utterance, to correct an utterance with an error, and to expand an utterance with insufficient detail. There are several types of prompts, both verbal and nonverbal. In the course of a single structured syntax lesson, you'll probably use many of these in various combinations. Download the document Ways to Prompt Spoken Language from the Resources tab as a helpful reference. It's a summary of prompting techniques with examples of applying them to elicitation, correction, and expansion. Let's look at some examples using different types of prompts. The course focuses on lessons for younger children, age two through kindergarten. Although the approach is taught, also apply to elementary age school students. 